Hey everybody, uh, I want to show you guys some scripts I made after watching the Parametric uh, Camp channel, uh, which I will link below. Uh, and if I don't, uh, if you don't see the link, remind me and I'll, I'll uh, make sure to update it. Um, and uh, what I've done is I watched some of these videos in here and I tried to recreate them in Dynamo. Um, so he does a lot of his stuff in Grasshopper. I just try to watch it and then translate that into Dynamo. And I find it that I'm learning a lot, um, but you know, and also seeing um, really how far we, you know, you can go with Dynamo. So, um, if you're wanting to learn Grasshopper, if you want to learn more about how these scripts were developed and all the parametric design stuff that goes into them, check out this channel. I totally recommend it. Um, with that said, uh, these are the scripts. So um, I'll jump straight into it. Uh, again, I'm not going to dive too deep into these. I'll show you guys how they function, and you can kind of download them and check them out yourself. Uh, below, you can find it in the description, a OneDrive link. Just find the folder uh, for this video, and then it, within that will contain all of the uh, Dynamo scripts. So this one here, what we do over here to the left is create a plane. Um, and then uh, the most important thing that you guys need to know about is down here this is the sun and then this is the uh, number sliders for the uh, width and height of the um, the panels and so I'll just actually update that so you'll see there if you flex that it'll parametric parametrically update that um, and then this is the Sun here so I'll just group that real quick we'll just call this Sun and then um, in the X direction what we can do is kind of slide this up and down and then you can see the rectangles or essentially the solar panels rotating and um, looking at that Sun um, so it's a cool exercise. I think it's fun um, to see, uh, and you could definitely with you know with Dynamo with this connected to Revit extend this into Revit and actually have uh, instead of a uh, instead of just a rectangle have that parametrically flexing a um, an actual family um, or an actual solar panel uh, family. So uh, that's that script. And then um, another one that he built inside of Grasshopper is this cool lanterns one. So a lot of this stuff uh, is the basics. It's not the um, it's not incredibly complex, um, but it's still interesting. And so if we run that, you'll see these um, lanterns almost coming out of the out of the um, out of the surface. And so, uh, most importantly for you guys, if you want to play around with this, there's a um, slider for the rows. And so that'll be like four by four. Uh, so if we update this, just bump that up to five, run it. I'm going to pause it real quick. And that's one big negative of Dynamo is just computing some of this geometry. It's just, uh, it's super slow. Um, it just takes a, a really long time. Uh, here's the, the radius, so uh, we can make that a little bit smaller. Uh, the height, we can change it uh, to be taller. Click run, up, and you'll see that it uh, updates. So, kind of cool. Um, he'll get into why, if you watch it, um, He'll show you some images of an actual project that that cr has like these orifices uh, up on top of the build uh, on top of the the roof of the building. It's this wild shape, um, and so the exercise is kind of oriented around um, creating something like that. Um, this is a simpler version of that, uh, but again, you know, it can easily be done in, in Dynamo. Um, another cool one is the uh, facade with parametrically optimized windows. Um, so with this shape, you can see 
the sun up here and what this is going to represent is the is the um, the sun and I mean the circles are going to represent a window and then if that sun is like perpendicular to the the window the window is going to close um, further than if the sun isn't perpendicular to it then the windows will open allowing um, you know just more natural light in without um, direct sunlight so if we uh, just move this back and forth you'll see that if it um, is perpendicular to these uh, circles that they actually get smaller and so if we shift this back over You'll see over here the point or the circles over here get smaller. So again, you know, you could apply this to like windows inside of Revit. Revit, you could tie this directly into a family. So some pretty cool stuff. And this uh, this script is is relatively uh, simple. This is a, a node. I want to point out that um, that is really helpful, and I would. I know there's other ways to split the, the geometry up, but I find this one to be just very, very useful. Um, and it is a lunchbox node, which is kind of a bummer because they're not developing it, but it is open sourced. Um, so hopefully um, we can continue getting that updated uh, in the future. Um, but this is a really, really helpful node. And I use this also in the other script with the lanterns. Um, so that's that's the uh, the scripts. Um, you know, they're, they're, it's a lot of fun to get in there and see what what people are doing in Grasshopper, and then translating that into Dynamo. Dynamo is the tool that I primarily use every day, um, and so I like to just see okay, what's possible in Grasshopper, and is you know, can we uh, potentially build in Dynamo? That doesn't mean Dynamo is better or grasshoppers better but i think um it's nice to see how far we can push you know some of these tools and i think by learning how other tools are doing things or how other people are using tools and then trying to apply that knowledge or th those methods to another tool is a great way to flex um and push the tool to its limits so anyways um Thanks a lot for watching. Definitely check out the Parametric Camp. Uh, it's a channel that I'll, I'll continue to follow and continue trying to take scripts from there and building them in, into Dynamo scripts. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, and let me know if you have any questions or any issues using any of the scripts. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.